Hi, it's me Ajay. I'm a Salesforce expert and today I'm going to give you a quick demo about the task which we have done related to opportunity split and opportunity recurring. Before I give you a demo, let me quickly introduce about myself and my company. So this is our company Cloud Analogy. We are expert on Salesforce and related technologies. What we are mostly fond of doing is cloud consulting. We provide custom solutions based on Salesforce and we also uh, do a lot of development work related to Salesforce integration, Aura component, lightning design system and so on. This is our team. We also have a couple of products on App Exchange. We also specialize in app development for app exchange with me in my demo i'm going to also have varun who is one of our team leads and he has led up this particular project so let us let me let me quickly give you a brief background about what we have what the actual requirement was okay so the particular client was having a sales team and they were doing a lot of sales related to different products and they were having a, 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 a list of products somewhere around uh, 30 to 40 uh, which was as more into like they were selling the same product in a recurring format or as a one-time sellout as well but most of their most of their requirement was uh, most of the products which they were trying to sell was on a recurring fashion, just like a subscription, um, channel subscription, or the calling services which we take mostly. So in, in, in a same fashion. Now the problem which they were facing was like, if they close a particular deal in January 2017, and their sales team were putting in like a $10,000 deal directly in the opportunity, and they were closing it, showcasing that the opportunity got closed on January itself, and they were supposed to get all the values in January, right? But the fact was that <clears throat> the particular amount was supposed to come up in a recurring fashion, like on a, on a monthly basis or probably on a quarterly basis, rather than going on as all the amount, all the values in the very first month of um, of January. Now, what we came up with was a recurring fashion, which I'm um, like, which Varun will uh, soon show the demo. Another problem which they were facing was uh, splitting up the opportunities. Like uh, they were having multiple products added into one opportunity, but different products might have different subscription uh, tenures, like subscription phases. So uh, one particular product might come up with a logic of okay monthly payment invoices generation and payment delivery or other might have a, a, a different payment plan of a quarterly or a half yearly basis so without any ado let me hand over to Varun who is going to give you a quick demo on opportunity recurring and opportunity split hello everyone uh, here we are on the opportunity page. Uh, for our split split opportunity, there's a button on split of uh, the opportunity. So you can see, so over here we are having values and the products added, right? Okay. Yes. So here are the products. Okay, so you can see like multiple products uh, with having different sales price as well as uh, a logic of like whether it is is recurring or not and yes whether it is recurring or not and the product margin and percentage okay so this is recurring field is uh, useful in the recurring opportunity scenario not in the split opportunity we we will we will take all the products whether they are recurring or not in the split opportunity scenario so when we hit this split opportunity button our custom vf page which contains the aura component will load up and in this in this uh, we can okay 
here we we can manually enter the start date and in this in this split scenario we can only create one opportunity at a time and we can add uh, products to the child opportunity but the master opportunity will always be left with one product so this means we can select n minus 1 products where n is the total number of products with the master this is the scenario the, uh, when you've selected uh, you said the, when you've selected n minus 1 products the last product will automatically will be grayed out so you cannot select it so li likewise you can you can select the products which you want to add into the child opportunity uh, then we create uh, then we hit the create split opportunity button here the split opportunity uh, split opportunity is created the two of two is the split is the child opportunity and the one of n will always be the master opportunity okay a quick question so it's like one product in one opportunity or we can also do a mix and match but in this code what's exactly happening we can we can add uh, n minus 1 products where n is the number of products which the master opportunity from which we have clicked that split opportunity button okay. so uh, but and this is actually going to generate all these two opportunities which is showing up and then no the one of n the one of two is the master opportunity okay perfect so it'll, that means there will be only one new opportunity getting created yes every time only one opportunity will be created with the uh, listed out with the mark products okay another quick question like you have developed this in uh, lightning design system or aura component this is aura component okay it's pure lightning then yes it is a visual custom visual force page which contains an aura component okay perfect okay then when we save it so now we are saving this uh, opportunity and we'll see so this is I guess the master opportunity yes this is the master opportunity so the products which we selected on the on that page are not are now not there they have been deleted from this master opportunity and have been added to this child opportunity okay wonderful so we can see that um, the particular products which we selected got added in. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, a quick question: Like, uh, was there any big challenge in doing this which you faced? No. Okay. No. Uh, like, uh, there was any validation rule, workflow rules, or process builders behind the scenes? Yes, there, there were many process builders and validations and workflow rules. So, we... Uh, okay, you worked around that. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, let us, let, us then, let us then move on to the next one. The recurring scenario. Yeah. Okay, from here when we say, when we click on the recurring opportunity button, it will load the same page with some added fields according which were you know asked by the client. So here here we can decide into how many periods we want to split this master opportunity. Like suppose if in this case I enter value ten, then hit on this create draft opportunities, it will it will calculate the end date from the start date according to the total reckoning periods and the and the field and the various fields on this page will be filled according to the calculations here initially all the products are selected now uh, you have a choice whether you want to add all the products to all the child opportunities and here are the child opportunities this is child opportunity section in this scenario also the one of n the first opportunity in this grid dra draft recurring opportunities is the master opportunity and rest are the child opportunities so whenever we are creating 
ten opportunities. Actually, nine child opportunities will be created, and the first one is always the master. Now, from here, we can we have uh, we have the uh, we have the power to you know select uh, add as many opportunities, but at least one opportunity one product should be added. Should be selected on a minimum. Okay. Yes, on a minimum. So when we create, uh, when we click on save button, that's just a validation. Here we are. Now we have. Now we have nine child opportunities. And when we go on to these child opportunities. Okay, we have the products. Okay, so ultimately, what you were able to do is like divide the particular opportunity into several other opportunities based upon the products, so that the sales team can easily define which particular product comes under which opportunity, and in a recurring fashion. Right? Okay. Yes. The close date gets changed. The amount value obviously get reflected back, and it gets changed. Okay, that seems like a good so. The thing which uh, we have over here to showcase is how we used the lightning design system, okay, and the aura component, the pure lightning things, and this feature is almost more or less what I see is very useful, and in many cases, in many scenarios, in many business uh, scenarios, this is very useful, and do. People do using Salesforce, the sales part of it, the sales cloud uh, would recommend or to say would really like this sort of features to have in. Do let us know if you have some similar sort of requirement and you can absolutely uh, contact us and we can help you out with this particular requirement. Okay, thank you.